the illiterate Chinese girl who became a billionaire. Tao Wavi is worth $1.9 billion. She rules over a fast condiment empire. Everyone in China has heard of Lao Gan Ma. The brand's name means old godmother. It refers to Tao herself. But Tao's background is more than humble. She was born into actual poverty. Tao Wabi comes from a poor village in Guizhou. She was the eighth daughter in her family. Her parents struggled to feed and clothe their children. Proper education was out of the question. Tao was never taught to read or write as a child. She spent her younger years chopping wood, cooking, and farming. Tao was 12 when the Great Chinese Famine began. It was a result of Chairman Mao's agricultural policies. Tens of millions of rural Chinese starved to death. Tao dug for roots and learned to forage for edibles. This constant hunger is what drove her to create her first chili sauce. Tao came up with a simple recipe. It was based on wild mountain herbs and homegrown peppers. It became a favorite of her families. At 20, Tao married an accountant. They had two sons, but several years later the husband died. Tao was now the sole provider of her family. She set up a street stall, selling vegetables. Tao worked at all hours of the day often until 4 a.m. In 1989, when Tao was 42, she opened her own restaurant. It was very small. It was called the Economy Restaurant. The restaurant only served simple, cheap noodles. But Tao added her own spicy soy sauce. The place soon became popular in the neighborhood. Tao's restaurant was frequented by poor students. They could always count on her to give them a discount. It was the students who nicknamed her old godmother. The noodle shop flourished but not because of the noodles. It was the sauce that drew customers. By the early 1990s, Tao's place was known to all passing truckers. A new highway had just been built nearby. Tao used the chance to promote her condiments. She started giving out samples for free. The truckers would take them home, spreading Tao's fame. In 1994, Tao stopped selling noodles altogether. She turned her restaurant into a condiment store. Two years later, at 49, Tao took her biggest risk. She rented a house in Guiyang and recruited 40 workers. Then she set up her own sauce factory. In 1997, the company was officially listed. With no formal education, Tao proved to be a shrewd businesswoman. She named her brand Lao Gan Ma. It was soon known all over the huge Chinese market. Several competitors launched fake Lao Gan Ma sauces. They nearly ruined her business with imitations. But Tao made another smart decision. She deliberately priced her sauces very cheaply. It was affordable for even the lowest income consumers. A bottle of Lao Gan Ma sauce costs less than $2, but the brand now holds a 20% share of the market. Tao Wabi is one of the wealthiest women in China. Her company buys chili peppers from more than 180,000 farmers. 5,000 rural workers work at Lao Gan Ma factories. Hiring rural and local workers is Tao's conscious decision. She wants to give them a chance she didn't have. Lao Gan Ma is sold in 30 countries. It was the first brand to popularize chili crisp condiments in the West. 